now we'll discuss the 10 tips of memorizing the quran and this these 10 tips insha allah if you follow you can start your journey or you can start your dream of memorizing the quran bi idhnillah azza wa jalla the first tip whenever you start a very good thing whatever it is or whenever you start the memorizing of the quran the first tip is you have to clear your intention you have to make your intention pure that this act which i am which i am doing is it for allah azza wa jal or is it to gain any worldly benefit you know the muhaddisin masha allah when they start off with their books like imam bukhari and imam muslim they start off with inna al a'malu bin niyat you have to clear your intention because each and every deed you do it is according to your intention you would be rewarded according based upon your intention so the first step is you have to make your intention pure you have to make your intention clear the second is you have you have to have the love for the quran the quran which you will memorize you ought to have that love that respect for the quran now what do you mean by respect and what do you mean by love for the quran it means that it should be out of interest the thing which you are undertaking the thing which you are going to do it should be out of interest it shouldn't be out of pressure you know parents they are beating their children whacking their children and hoping that they would be a hafiz no they would be a hafiz no problem but the outcome is not that great if you want to be like a proper hafiz of the quran you have to have that love for the quran and if you have that love for the quran you will automatically do qadr of the quran you will respect the quran so this is the second tip is that you have to love the quran the third tip which i would like to discuss is that you have to keep away from sins very important my dear brothers you have to abstain from sins as much as possible you have to keep away from sins to have a sharp memory because this requires a lot of strive hard work and when you strive and struggle and you are not able to get that then it is a problem so how to improve your memory you can say by minimizing on your sin by keeping away from sin as much as possible You know Imam Ash-Shafi'i rahimahullah in his poet he complains to his ustaz Waqi' and it is mentioned in poetic form he says shakawtu ila Waqi'i su'a hifdhi i complained to my ustaz Waqi' about my he was struggling in memorizing so he says that i complained to my ustaz Waqi' about my weak memory fa awsani ila tark al-ma'asi so he advised me to abstain to keep away from sins wa akhbarani bi anna al ilm nur and he informed me that this knowledge this ilm is a light is a nur wa nur allah la yu'ta li asi and the light of allah and the nur and the knowledge of allah is never given to the asi is never given to the sinners is the never given to the one who sins so we should make sure that we have to abstain we have to keep away from sins as much as possible the next step you can say you have to make a portion like you have to daily recite the quran you have to make a time where you daily recite and you have to daily revise and daily memorize the quran it should be a daily process it shouldn't be like one day you do and after three days you do no it should be a daily process so make sure whatever you do even if it is a uh, one verse a day but it should be consistent okay so it shouldn't be inqita in between like you do one day like even if you do two pages a day then you go for the next week no every day you should have a minimal amount of recitation or minimal amount of memorization which is uh, done every day the next step is you have to choose a place proper place to memorize there shouldn't be distraction in that so it can be in masjid you make a proper place for yourself or it can be in your room wherever it is you should make sure that there is no distraction around whenever you are reciting the quran there should be complete focus in that and you are completely you are giving your complete 100% into that next tip 
you can say is you have to carry your mushaf. And this one mushaf would be along with you till forever. You mean. It would be with you forever. So make sure you are not changing the mushaf. You recite it from one mushaf, you go to the masjid, you go to the next masjid, you are uh, starting off with another mushaf. No. This is the mistake which people usually do. They change mushaf in, uh, when they start with the learning. No. You have to carry your own mushaf and th- that mushaf would be in your complete journey of hivs. Because you know, the ustaz which you have, they'll mark the mistakes. And you can follow up that. You can uh, have a look at your mistakes. Then the next step is the recitation which you do or the memorization which you do, it should be under someone's supervision. There should be a, a proper ustaz who is correcting your mistake, who is showing you how to do and how to go about. It shouldn't be done like, okay, I know how to recite. I know how, uh, the rules of tajweed. I know the rules of makharij. I know how to memorize. So I'll go at, like by myself. No. It should be done. It should be done under someone's supervision. There should be a ustaz who is guiding you. The next is the next step is you have to find a Quran buddy, huh? somebody who will keep you a task, like a Quran kali, for example. He can be like a portion ahead of you. He can be behind you. Whatever it is, but he follows you. You encourages. You. So you make sure that you have a person like a backup who is encouraging you. If there is something, uh, if for example, the ustaz is not present, you can give your portion to him. So this is like, uh, like the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to give his portion to whom? Jibreel alayhi salam. So his Quran buddy was Jibreel alayhi salam. So you have to have a friend or a Quran buddy. You can say like that. The next tip you can say is the dua. You have to make constant duas that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this journey easy for you. Constant du'as in your salawat. You ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you that blessing because this is a great ni'mah, my dear brothers. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a great ni'mah. Imagine the Prophet, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he says, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidhun. Verily we have sent down the Quran and we will guard this Quran from Corruption. corruption. We will guard. We will so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking the responsibility of guarding this Quran, of protecting this, this Quran from corruption. So imagine Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is choosing you for this. Allahu Akbar. So this again itself a significance. So you should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you tawfiq to memorize the Quran. The next tip you can say is is you have to have a particular time when you memorize. It shouldn't be done out of pressure. Now this time which you allot for memorizing the Quran, it is different from person to person. Some person, like some people, they are used to memorize, like their mind is free and their mind is sharp after Fajr. After Fajr, they are completely free, relaxed and mashallah, everything is going into their head. So this is like the effective time. So you have to choose your particular time. What is the exact time you feel that uh, things are going, mashallah, now in my head, in my mind. For me personally, it was midnight. For me, it was after 12 a.m. So alhamdulillah, what if I memorize, it was after 12 a.m. So it differs, as I said, from person to person. It shouldn't be done out of, like whenever you are tired, out of pressure, you are doing it, nothing will go. Even though you follow this process, you follow this technique, nothing will go in your head. So make sure you allot and you fix a particular time. And that time would be your time. You have to decide that. You have to identify that particular time and you have to go about with the process. Inshallah.